I kind of expected Peter to shove sugar. You know, he's a short guy. He doesn't want to get kind of bullied. So when Sean got in his face, I kind of figured he was going to shove him. But Sean rolled with it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, it's been a long couple weeks, and it's been a long weight cut and a long diet, but we're right on track. Sugar's a big bantamweight. He's always been super mentally tough during this. This is the, the fight before the fight. This is where you really got to tap into a lot of mental toughness, but uh, he's experienced, he's a vet, and he's super mentally tough, so we're, we're going to get it off. Get in there, back to time for the magic now. Now you see me like this. Come on. Next time you see me, I will. Uh, hopefully not that bad. I usually do pretty good. Uh, it was cool seeing TJ face to face. It's always nice to see your opponents, regardless. Um, you kind of get to feel the energy and the vibe that they're gonna come with. And he's gonna be there to fight, but he looked like flustered. But as of right now, it looks like I might be in his head a little bit, and that could be bad news for TJ and good news for the Funk. Yeah, he's right on point, maybe even a little lighter than the last time. So he's looking good right now. Really good, he's in good spirits, good energy. He's in, this, he's in the sauna blanket right now. And so it's a portable sauna. He sits in the sauna, it gets hot. And uh, there's nothing to do but uh, try to distract yourself and lose the weight. After the fight, we're gonna get some morozhenaya. All my Russians, they know what that is. Some good old ice cream, morozhenaya. Ah, com certeza, depois do face to face amanhã, a energia é muito maior. É, eu acho que o que dá mais energia pro Charles ainda é exatamente isso. É sempre estarem fazendo tudo ao redor dele para tentar fazer ele cair, sempre levando ele em território hostil, é, sempre tentando arrumar isso, arrumar aquilo. Eu acho que isso fortalece ele muito. Porque não importa a condição da que tiver a floresta ali. O leão nunca vai comer capim. E aí, pô, graças a Deus aí estamos dormir com o peso batido, com maestria. É, peso, pô, completamente batido, peso do cinturão mesmo, sem tolerância, sem nada. Amazing job. They're both, they're both. Charles, championship weight, slam championship weight, belt on the line, official. All right, next fighter to the scale, the man many of you have come to see, the former undisputed UFC bantamweight champion and now number one ranked contender, Purion. 136. 136, in this week for Purion. Tomorrow. All right, next fighter to the scale, competing live on pay-per-view. He is the 11th ranked UFC bandweight contender, Sugar Sean O'Malley. 135.5. 135 and a half, the official weight for Sean O'Malley. Wow. All right, next athlete to the scale is only the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion, the Funk Master, Al Jermaine Sterling. 135. 135. 
35, the official weight for the champ, Alfred Stone. is life in a bottle. Oh my God. All right, next fighter to the scale is the former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion and now the number two ranked contender, TJ Dillashaw. 135. 135 pounds, the official weight for TJ Dillashaw. And with that, the UFC Bantamweight title fight is now official. at the next step and climb up the bantamweight ranks. For sure you show them that. Can I get a picture? Honestly, I'm more scared of Hezbollah than Peter. Hezbollah's got a right hand. What's going on, Abu Dhabi? Great to be back here. Sugar Sean O'Malley. First athlete to the stage, number 11 in the world in the Bantamweight division, Sean O'Malley. 135 and a half. The official weight for Sean O'Malley. And his opponent is the former undisputed UFC Bantamweight champ. And now the number one ranked contender, Pure. Official weight 136 for Purion. No, no, no. Good. We love them all. We love them all. I really First fighter to the scale, the former two time undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and now the number two ranked contender, TJ Dillashaw. 